Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is from 146 students tested for PTC testing ability, uh, 105 were testers and 41 were non-testers. If this trait uh, under the control of one gene with two alleles calculates the frequencies of three genotypes, ability to test is dominant to being non-tester. First of all, uh, we are going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula in order to solve this problem. So here is the formula. So frequency of three genotypes that we can get uh, if we have two alleles in the gene pool would be uh, p squared plus 2pq plus q squared and all this would equal to 1 or 100%. So in our case we have two alleles, which is um, T, let's say, T dominant and T recessive. So uh, the first uh, P squared would stand for the homozygous dominant genotype. P, uh, two PQ in this formula would stand for the heterozygous genotype. And Q squared would stand for the homozygous recessive genotype. So we have here three genotypes and two phenotypes. So this is going to be one dominant phenotype testers and this is going to be second phenotype non-testers. As you see, we have here basically only two alleles, dominant allele T and recessive allele T that makes these three genotypes. So we can say that uh, in this gene pool we have uh, P plus Q, which equals 1, or uh, this is going to be dominant T plus T recessive, and all this would equal to 1 in this gene pool, and these two alleles would make uh, three uh, genotypes and would make these two phenotypes. So now take a look. We are given here a number of people who are testers and non-testers. So this is absolute numbers, but we need uh, frequencies. So again, uh, how many testers we have? One hundred five and non-testers forty-one. But we need frequencies. So what uh, we are going to do, uh, take a look. So 41 divided by 105 plus 41. This is how we are going to find frequency of the people who is homozygous recessive. The answer here is going to be 0 0.28. So this is going to be frequency of the, those people who are homozygous recessive. So 0 0.28. And that means that frequency of the people who uh, is going to be of the dominant phenotype going to be 0 0.72. Or we also can say 72% we would see here people who is going to be testers and 28% people who is going to be uh, non-testers. Again, do not forget that we do all our calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. And if we need, uh, for example, answers on the scale between 0 and 100%, we just have to multiply our final answer by 100. Next step would be to find frequency of the allele, uh, recessive allele T. How we are going to find it? So Q squared stand for the uh, genotype that is homozygous recessive and frequency of this uh, genotype is 0 0.28. So in this case, Q would equal a square root of 0 
and this is going to be frequency of the recessive allele T. So if we take square root of 0 0.28, uh, the answer would be 0 0.53. And again, what we have found, we have found frequency of the recessive allele T. So we can put uh, this frequency here, 0 0.53. Now we instantly know the frequency of the dominant allele T. Uh, as you see, we just have to subtract from 1, 0 0.53, and the frequency of the dominant allele is going to be 0 0.47. So 0 0.47 plus 0 0.53 would equal to 1. So this is uh, frequencies of two alleles. Now it is very easy to find frequency of the, for example, homozygous dominant genotype. In our formula, Hardy-Weinberg formula, we have P squared, which equal to genotype homozygous dominant, and frequency would be 0 0.40 seven squared. So what P squared means? That means T dominant multiplied by itself. And the answer is going to be 0 0.2209. This is going to be frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype. So 0 0.2209 frequency of the heterozygous genotype is going to be 2 PQ. So this is P, um, P stands for the dominant allele, Q stands for the recessive allele. This would equal to 2 multiplied by frequency of the dominant allele, which is 0 0.47 7 multiplied by frequency of the recessive allele, which is 0 0.53. And frequency of this genotype is uh, 0 0.4982. So we can put this frequency here, 0 0.4982. And we already know the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype, which is 0 0.28. So we gave all, all three frequencies. Again, if we add all these fre uh, three frequencies, we are going to get one. So this is frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype. This is frequency of the homozygous, uh, uh, sorry, heterozygous genotype. And this is frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype. And when we add these three frequencies, we getting one or 100 percent. Again, as you remember, if we need an answer in percentage form, we just have to multiply our answers by 100. And we are going to get here 22 percent, 22.09 percent, 49.82 percent here and 28 percent here. Of course, uh, these numbers are rounded, but uh, again, uh, the number is very close to one. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.